welcome back everyone to Val Plays the Nebulous. We're up here at the top of my tower where I've begun the top floor. And X has struck. He warned me that this would happen if I failed to pay him. But I should be warned is nothing compared to what is to come. There's much more. There's much, much more if you fail to pay me again. You see, if I have one more week to pay him 11 diamond blocks, or another prank will follow. Except this one will be worse, and the fee and prank will be bigger each time. You have been warned, X. Oh, how nice. You're a jerk. And uh, X has revealed himself as being a uh, patch, Dark Hattie. Nice guy. Come on, server, and start pranking. So that's what he left me. Nice little uh, X of Netherrack in the sky. All on fire, of course. So, gotta get up there and take it out. He's a jerk. I'm not gonna pay him. Of course not. Uh, but don't worry, I don't forget these things. Mess with the wrong guy. <laughs> Alright, clean this crap up. Hello, everyone. Alright, so I'm back. Got rid of, uh, X. Dark Hattie's, uh, prank above there. My beacon just goes showing again. And I've kind of finished what I've initially thought of for the outer walls here for this top floor. You can see down along the edges, the walls seen out. I might make some balconies out these ways. There'll probably be some up along the tower though. Uh, and in the inner part I'll separate into sections with my like personal room up here, you know, uh, bedroom, library, enchanting stuff, that kind of stuff, I think. Here's where I've got the uh, transportation tower coming right up to here. You kind of have this under level, or the top. These are the two levels where it kind of goes out for support, so I can get to the top here. I'm going to have all those farms in here. Remember those vertical farms. Uh, Designed by by Doomplug. There might be something a little bit better designed now with comparators and stuff, but it's pretty much it. Come up all the way here. You land here. You can walk up right to the beacons, and then these holes right here is where the signal, the redstone signal, is going to come all the way up. For my indicators on if the furnaces down below are done or not. So that's cool, I'll be able to have that all the way up here. And I'll design this, put a little roof on it, nothing too crazy. Keep the hole open, you know, some glass. And we'll call this baby done on the outside. Now as far as the whole prank stuff with Dark Hattie, um, you know, I'm not, probably not going to do anything. We'll see what, see what happens. If he keeps trying to prank me because it's fun to try and get money out of me, ransom diamonds or something, you know, I might do something. I don't know. I don't really like pranks, to be honest with you. Uh, so, go prank someone else. Frankly. Alright, let's go take a look at uh, what I've done down here. I'm kind of trying to do some design work. You can see there's some cobble down there. Let's, uh, let's go take a look. Alright, here we go. So this is the um, kind of the front. Got all this stuff there. Here's kind of what I'm doing. So I'm, I kind of like, I'm going to use cobble as the outlining. Because this is kind of my primary material, this is kind of my secondary material, and this is my detail material, I'm using cobble. So I'm using stairs, you know, turn different ways. Just kind of give it this outline. I've been using this kind of stair thing here to make it look like it bulges. I wish I could put things along the gap between these two right here. That'd be cool. Put torches there or something. But it's kind of just coming up to this outline. Another outline up there. I'm kind of doing the V, the Valdez V, the window. And I'm going to do the outline around. And I'm going to do these little cobble fence post pillars along the side, like this. In those kind of positions there. And what's cool about that window placement is it puts it right at the top here, <laughs> which is like perfect. It'll be right up there. Give it some extra light in here. It's actually worked out pretty perfect. I didn't even realize that till I made the hole. 
but it's uh, pretty nice. I might mix cobble here to connect, but I was kind of leaving that open for the V, you know. And I'll put upside down stone brick stairs along all these other little gaps there. And then I'm thinking of some big supports like coming down 45 degrees from like around here, angled or something. I'm not too sure. May or may not do something like that. But I'll do this kind of all the way around and then we'll do some other design up in this section and then something for this huge part. I don't even know. I don't even know. But we're going to finish the top so you can't see the sky through the glass. We'll put a roof over that. Uh, that's probably what I'll work on now. What should, I, what should I make it out of? Wood? No. Stone, of course. Maybe some glowstone or fire or something. I don't know. Let's get there. Okay. So look at this. I still have my buffs way up here at the top. Uh, with that update to the beacon distance. It's freaking cool. I don't even have a max size beacon. And it's still hitting me way here at the top. So it's awesome. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so my plan is kind of to do a slab roof. And then... I don't know, I'll kind of start it with uh, stairs like this. Give it a little curl. Is that high enough? One, two, three, three and a half high ceiling. Hmm. Let's see, what if I... Do like, sure. Do that. No. Because it would be something like this. Do something like that. So I'm thinking slabs because I don't think mobs can spawn on half slabs. I'll light it up anyway, but uh So what about something like that? I think that that'll look pretty good actually. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna uh do some more of this, I think. See what it, see how it grows on me, I guess. I'm gonna have to put stairs like this. Get the corner like that. Oops, not like that. Okay, well, I guess let me work on this a little bit, get some of this done, see what it looks like. So this is pretty easy, I made sure to have a whole lip on the outside here, so I could place the stairs just like this, without any problems. As long as I don't fall to my death. Because then Ender Pearls won't help me. No, they won't. Alright, now up here. Should be just something like that. Yep. And I'll fill this in. Like so. So I kind of did two stairs out, and I'll do two stairs in. I know on the outside, if you think of the uh, profile, I think that's that'll be good. Let's take a look in here. See now I'm using all the um, materials except cobble. 
placing the cobble with the wood flooring in here. I like the wood flooring. It seems, you know, nice, elegant, if you want to call it. I could have brought this transportation tower up into this room. I still might. It's a good room division. You know, it's kind of in the center back of the room. Uh, so I still might do that. But I'm playing with the idea of it being in the ground like this. I can bring walls up around this. Have these indicator lights come up here somehow. Maybe that'll be a wall feature. I'm not sure. It's in the middle. I'm going to kind of leave it there. See how it grows on me. And I'm going to work on this. Whoops. Just like that. Extend all this around. And uh, I'll be back. Show you guys an update. Okay, well, seeing as how I'm actually out of stone bricks already, <laughs> I don't have very many more. I gotta go do some more mining. I had quite a few stone slabs though, but I'm almost out of them. I'm kind of just using what I've got, laying out the framework of this. I think this is actually gonna be a really good idea, um, making this flat instead of some crazy elaborate roof thing. And I'm just gonna use this top of the roof as another floor and do like a, I don't know, outside garden type area thing, uh, zen garden, type, I don't know, something like that. The beacon, you know, little gardening areas, make it look all nice, and yeah, relaxing water, that kind of thing. Up here in my personal sanctuary, top of the world. <laughs> oh man, okay, but for now I'm just gonna use the stone I got, and then I gotta go collect more resources, and maybe I'll set my stone gener generator. I've made a bunch of hoppers, and droppers, and all that good stuff. I'm going to put an ender pearl elevator in, where I normally ender pearl up my mine shaft. I'm going to uh, do a hopper based storage system and sorting system in vanilla here. I'll probably work on that relatively soon. Once I get this, I wanted to get this tower like quote unquote done. You know, at least get the. Uh, basic structure done and then as I work on decorating and all that you know the, the cobble decorations on the side I was doing uh, then I can fill in more of the floors I gotta put doom style uh, farms in the tall or the tall part you know for sugar cane and all that I'm gonna redo the replant farm level uh, with hoppers instead of you know just the way I did it I'm gonna use hoppers um, yeah, so I got some more things to do to finish this this bad boy up, this project, this crazy tower, but it's coming along real nicely. Um, almost, I'm almost there. And then you know I can make some other buildings around here and you know this and that. But really, this this whole base, this was the whole plan. And then we'll see what else Vanilla has. 1.6 snapshots are coming out, so we're gonna have horses. That'll be pretty cool. Uh, I don't have too much use for them here at the moment. But I can see them being very, very useful. Get some cool PvP jousting, that kind of stuff going on. But I think this is going to do me, do it for me today. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I gotta go do a lot more harvesting. Yay! Alright, I'll see you guys next time.